Well, hello, friends. Good afternoon. It's the auction preview for this week, and we are do doing a little shake-up this week. Uh, Paula and the crew have found themselves landed in the jail in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So for this week, you get me, and we're going to show you the 30 items that you might want to consider. And uh, take a look with me, and let's see which things or group of things you would like to see and own. Here we go. Let me flip you around. Okay, we have this week a little pony here. She's called, uh, she's a 10 inch super soft plush pony. Super popular with the kids. That'll be on the auction this week. Here we have a wonderful Stone Feather Road curly lamb dusty plum scarf. You could have that for the winter and get nice and snug. I know it's super hot right now. It's probably not th something you're thinking about right now, but soon we will be changing seasons. Here we have our silver plated sunburst design platter on the auction this week. We have this beautiful set of Navajo and Hishi bead uh, earrings that would go with just about everything you can imagine. We also have this cute little Navajo and a uh, turquoise bracelet that'll fit just about everybody. You can see how it'll stretch. Whoops, and there it went. See how it goes? It flies, too. It's kind of a toy. <laughs> Here's an ankle bracelet that we make here at the store. It's a great gift for anybody that you might know, yourself, your friends. We have this cute little, um, looks like a soda light pendant. Comes on the deerskin leather, pretty long. Um, it's wire wrapped at the top. It's beautiful. Uh, over here we have this Bumblebee Jasper belt buckle. You can see that it's got a place to put probably about a one and a half inch, I'm guessing, belt through that. That'd be cute. You could also hook it on the side of a purse. Uh, here we've got a beautiful little uh, bracelet that we made here in-house. Take a look at that online. All the measurements will be on the site if you have questions about sizing. I'm just showing you the live and in-person look at these things. We've had one buy now. Congratulations to that person. Here's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stone. It's not very big, but you could certainly use it as a little display um, on the side of your end table or something like that. And here we have... Um, a three-tiered Navajo sterling silver. Let's see if I can read the notes here. We've got a sterling turquoise three-tiered disc. They're kind of flattened. They're kind of different. Uh, here's a look at one of them. Here we have a nice little chain here that would go with every outfit. You could layer that in with lots of things that you may already own. And I gotta love this one with the coral and the turquoise and the hishi beads. Um, uh, it's got three tiers. It's super cute. I think you'd like that one. If I can focus you. Okay, and next up is our, uh, we made this um, in-house as well. It's a beautiful, great, great graduated neck piece. Here we have a set of um, different colored beads and along with it comes the earrings that kind of look in that same fashion. They droop really neat like that. Um, if you're interested in any of these items, we have a question here on the table. You want to go to the link on the top of this post and there will be an auction that you can sign up for. You just register and bid and this auction will close on Sunday at 8 p.m. in two minute increments. Here is a three nugget little choker chain, really cute. I have a pyrite heart here. Pretty heavy, like it's substantial. So it's just beautiful, It'd be a great paperweight or just something to design with. Uh, here we have a, a leather cuff with a little chunk of a concho, a silver concho on the side of it. Just looks really neat. Uh, here we have a five Navajo pearls hung and this is adjustable up here you can see that you can slide it up and down so if you're worried about the length it'll go to your size and this is a beautiful little ring made by a designer named Bora who um, is 
has made an interesting, you can see it from the side and the front, the stone in it. Sizes will be on the site. And what would match it nicely would be these little nugget. Um, they're called Ribbon Rainbow, I believe. Yeah, Ribbon Royston. Royston Boulder with the ribbon. You can see that it's um goes right down the center. It's pretty cool. And you might like this little guy here. This is a three-strand um, Navajo pearl and uh, turquoise. That'll go with just about everything. Next to it, you will see that we have a red and black um, multi-strand bracelet, and it cuffs into two sizes, so you can, it's just one snap, and you have all this on your arm. That looks pretty cool. And next to it, we have the beaded, um, this is two, this is about five inches long, so you'll have to imagine about five inches long. This is beautiful, just to hang. Um, here we have our little box. It's um, got this authentic little skull on the front of it, and it opens up. You could store some of your goodies in that. It's kind of neat. Our next guy is our koala uh, U-bag. Now, it's not just a little stuffed toy. It's also a backpack, so he has straps on him that you can connect him to. Kids love this, and so do big people because it kind of hooks on the side of your hip. It looks like you have a little friend there. And this is our um, dock kit that is made by a local artisan. We um, have been enjoying his work. This is all hand-stitched people. This is, this is lots of labor on this piece. Um, if we open it up, if I can, within my one hand. Let's see. Maybe I can. I can. So you can look inside and see that it's got quite a bit of room there pockets on the sides for more stuff. It's just cute and something you won't see at the regular stores. Our next piece is the, the fabulous shawl we've been featuring and it's in the coffee. Cappuccino wave we call it and it's got the fringe on the end. Um, if you look on our site you can see what that looks like on a person. And I think that completes everything. You want to go to our website. It looks like this at Stone Feather Road on the block live auction just go to this blue tab at the top and get yourself registered this week and that'll close at eight o'clock on sunday night we do this every week and we, you could get a chance at all of these goodies and i wanted to remind you that paula and the crew are out at the cheyenne wyoming um, frontier days through august 1st and this starts july 23rd so if you're in the area or want to go just uh, make sure you stop by and say hello to her and hopefully we'll get her out of jail. They're in the warm, hot sun and they're reporting back that things are going well and getting set up, set up really good. All right. So this weekend in Cedar Falls, we also have a um, sidewalk sales going on Friday and Saturday in downtown Cedar Falls. Please be sure to take a look at what the downtown has to offer. We've got um, many um, stores that are we're going to be putting merchandise out onto the, the street, and um, you'll have some good bargains to pick from. So that's it. It's your auction preview for this week. And until next week, good luck on the bidding, and we'll see you soon.